This is not the last episode of Grand Theft Auto V. It is, however, the last main story mission. And oh, what a story mission it is. Rated M for Mature. Hey, Lamar. That was above and beyond, homie. Ain't nothing above and beyond when it comes to the homies, homie. <laughs> a nigga just wanna be helpful, you heard me? I'm serious, dawg. That's hood. Mike and Trevor, too. We grateful. You a real homie, and I love you, dawg. You too, homie. You done with this bullshit now? Almost. A couple of loose ends. Aw, oh, shit. I know that voice. You creeping on some fools, huh? All right, nigga, we'll handle your candle. Lay low, my nigga. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to more Steven Plays Grand Theft Auto V. You know what's going down today. Woo! Loose ends! If I would title episodes, this would be called Loose Ends. In fact, that may be the name of the mission, if this is the mission. Or maybe it's just called Finale, I don't know. We are, uh, making our way over. Oops. I pressed down so I could see further on the map. I didn't realize, you know, I pressed down, I'd automatically switch to someone. Anyway, we're currently on our way to take down, uh, Wei Cheng using Franklin. But every one of the characters has a major target, and then at the end, all of the characters are targeting Mr. Weston, because Mr. Weston has wronged them way too many times. So we're going to speed this up and head over and uh, pay Wei Chang a little visit. Hey, Hello. the old man's here. He's leaving the Beast Club. I'm going to do it now. See, what's great is that they don't know who I am. So I can just be all like, what's up, everybody? How you doing? I'm just a guy on a bike. Don't mean... No! No Sasso! Fight Assassin! <laughs> I got it! He got it! Wait, escape the try. I was gonna say. I got him, right? Like I I killed him hardcore. Oh, I don't gotta escape. I run to this thing head on! Goodbye! Hey, I got out the You dudes ain't gonna have no more triads coming after you. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey ho! Up. We still gotta do stretch and Agent Haynes. Alright, Michael, your turn. My good buddy Stretch. Once again, he should not be expecting anything. I think he's playing b-ball with his friends. It would be a real shame if something were to happen to him. Stretch, Stretch. Which one of you is Stretch? I'm pretty sure the guy in the hat, maybe? Uh, come on. Escape the ballas? Why would I escape the ballas? I'm pretty sure I'm doing a, a fine job of taking out the ballas. Hi, fellas. How's it going? Nope. Gotcha. Huh. Well. Straightforward. <laughs> He thought he was just going to be playing some b-ball. Nope. Oh wait, there's one left! Hi, friend! What's wrong with you? Beep beep! Choo-choo! 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 Oh, I didn't get him. I got you, hold on! I'm clear. Your pal Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. She he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who tanked us, homie. Thanks. So who we got, man? What happens next is plant Steve Haynes in the dirt. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Trevor time. Bring down Haynes. <laughs> oh, with pleasure. God, I hated that guy. Alright, so he's like doing a show or something? I'm driving... I'm a little recklessly. Let's see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! God, this is crap. Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this framed right? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Oh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. 
Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Hi. This is Los Santo. <laughs> I actually... I have an idea. Just gonna... See if I can do this. Don't get too close to Haynes. I will not get too close to him. Oh, I gotta get my eyes. You really checked. need to get out of my way, buddy. I'm just gonna ride over here a little bit. Haynes ain't going anywhere, so this should be all right for me to do this. Just gonna come over here. I'm gonna enjoy a nice trip onto the beach, driving to the beach, of course. Ugh. No problem. All right, let's just come over here in the beautiful, warm sand. Yeah, beautiful warm sand. That's something good. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Throw in a senior FIB agent, and you've got a unique look at what happens when dreams and reality collide. Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. I've tracked down killers, attacked incompetence, and taken down terror cells. And tonight, <laughs> he's going up. Switch to the rifle. Where are you at, my friend? Where are you at? Good night. Oh my god! The guy! What's his name? He shot him! Jesus fucking Christ. Lose the cops. With pleasure. <laughs> shot him on the Ferris wheel. Happens to the best of us. Also, I'm already on the beach. It's a really great place to lose the police in the first place. So I guess I can just drive around leisurely. <laughs> Oh, what fun we'll have. I am really looking forward to taking out Devin Weston. Watch it, folks. Let's see. There's a bit of a channel here. I wonder if I could... I wonder if I could jump that. Nope. Can't jump it. Hey, Lester. I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, the Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the Tongva Hills. Uh, I say house. It's more of a... Yay! Whatever. I'll go up there and get him. Sounds good. Go to Devin's house. Let's go pay Mr. Weston a visit. Now, do I have to do that as Trevor, or am I given the ability? Nope. It's got to be Trevor. All right. No problem. Let's go. Uh, let's go check it out. Oh, honey, I'm home. It's been a while since I've been here. Devin has surrounded himself with Merryweather guards. Okay. I can dig. Wow, he really does have a hey, lot there. Unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. Kidnap Devin. <laughs> oh, I was hoping I wouldn't shoot him. I didn't want it to be that easy. Let's see. Merryweather guards, huh? <gasps> that might cause some issues. Let's just sneak around. I actually bought some uh, bought some armor and ammunition right before this. So I'm kind of hoping that uh, I'll get some use out of it. Not that I want to be shot, particularly, but, you know, if I am shot, whatever. Let's see, do I have... I have a suppressor. Okay. Careful. Careful. Got him. Didn't alert a soul. I know that's not generally Trevor's style, Take cover here. Turn around, buddy. Combat situation. Guard the asset. Ugh. Friggin' trees! I can't shoot through the trees! Oh god. You can't hide forever! Okay. Put the weapon down! Is that guy on the roof? Where you at, Bo? Huh? Where you at? You dirtbag! Where you at? I'm here for you. You best show yourself. Time to bleed. <laughs> Time to bleed. He's got to be on the roof. Huh. Devin! All right, let's go around this way. They know I'm here. Can I go in the house? Because that would be sweet. Of course not. Bend over here and come. Yeah, they're 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 all on the roof. That's all right. Come I'm a I'm going to move this way and see what I can see. Like that guy's face. You're 
gotcha. All right, How much that is goes. asshole paying you? I hope it was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> How much is asshole paying you? I hope it was worth it. I got plenty I of guns. I just put down half your outfit back in town. It's really funny that I'm taking them out with a little pistol. They have these huge military weapons, and I'm like, nah, I got it. <laughs> Don't worry about me. But they are on the roof. Devin! That's bothering me a little bit. I need to take them out before I get to Devon. Where are you guys at? That's a fella. Careful. You bleed like humans, but I know you're oh, oh, oh! Someone shoot me over there! Over there! Over there! This is not a place to take cover. Got that guy. Careful. Up the steps! I'll find you! Gotcha! I think that was it. I mean, if there were any on the roof, I think they've come down by now. And if they haven't, then they're stupid because the guy they're trying to protect is getting shot. I'm just trying to see if I see any more, and I think we did it. Well... Hop dibbly doo. Anybody else want a piece of this? No? I'm just gonna casually walk down there because I think it makes it a little more fun. Oh, he's hiding behind his chair. Aw, oh, don't be like that. Come say hi to old Uncle Trevor. We really enjoyed stealing those cars for you. Wait, wait, hear me out! No more talking! <laughs> oh man. Oh, I'm taking this nice car. I'm so excited. Go to the rendezvous point. Oh, this is a fun time. This is a fun time. When Devin Weston dies, Really, everyone I got Mr. wins. Weston. Let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Woo! We're going on a little mini vacation! Whoa, 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 what's going on? Where am I? <laughs> what's wrong, Weston? Let me out of here! I told them I wouldn't kill you. I didn't say anything about cutting your tongue out. <laughs> oh well, the mighty have fallen. Oh, he's beating on the trunk. That's very reminiscent of that uh, that one mission that we had earlier, where we stole that movie star. We had the option to kill him or let him go, and and we killed him. You know, you're a, you're a resourceful guy, getting past those train killers. I need someone like you in my organization. The CEO position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issue. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go! You're looking at it rationally! There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go! Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> this is a serious offer. Work for me, you'll have everything you will never wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes! Yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team! Come on! Come on! Let me out of here! Look! I got my own company! Trevor Phillips Industries! Oh, yeah! A fellow entrepreneur! Let me buy a stick that will give you money to grow! I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. You're over! Am I over? Because I'm pretty sure I'm doing all right. I mean, all things considered. I'm and I'm coming for you! This is why the people I put into my trunk are usually dead. Everything's fine. We just got to get to this rendezvous point, which is where we're going. Man, he's really Stop fighting right to get now. out. This is why people want to kill you. You won't shut up. Right, over the bridge. Oh man, it's gonna be a fun time, Weston! Oh, it's gonna be such an enjoyable vacation for you as you topple down a cliff and or get shot and or get disemboweled 
and or lose various appendages. You really brought this on yourself. You don't want me as an enemy. Find a happy place, you zen cock. Will you really be an enemy if you're dead? Because I'm pretty sure you won't be an enemy anymore. Oh, look at the <laughs> look at the stroll. It's like driving Miss Daisy, except Daisy is a douchebag and is in the trunk. Here we are, Slick, with a few minutes for some one-on-one -on -one time. Ah. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful location. Okay, so, uh, since I am in the, uh, I'm not in the know of what exactly is going on. Oh, we waited until sunset. <laughs> oh, my goodness. There's my buddy. Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Good. Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> you know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no. Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going you want? nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. <laughs> Push the car. Oh, really great time we had. So now what? <laughs> now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. <laughs> Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh. Walks off into the well, not towards the sunset. Grand Theft Auto 5. Woo! What a ride that was. An enjoyable game. A game that I have been looking forward to for many, 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 many years. And uh, I think it very much lived up to the hype. It really did. This was uh, incredible. In incredibly enjoyable for me and I hope that you guys got a lot out of it as well but it's not over even though the main story is over all of our characters are alive and I'm assuming that after the credits roll we're gonna have a piss load of money and we're going to be using some of that money we still have a few Lester assassination missions yes but we can buy some of the properties in the game some of the properties unlock uh, new missions plus there's a handful of things 
that we still have left to do. So, even though there's not going to be that many more episodes, there's still going to be a handful of them after this. So, if you've enjoyed Grand Theft Auto V up to this point, keep being excited, because there's actually still a few things left to see. For now, I am going to let you guys enjoy the credits, but I will see you guys next time for more Steven Plays Grand Theft Auto V. From the office of Dr. Isaiah Friedlander. Client notes. Highly confidential. Patient, Stephen George. So needy and vain. Tries to do the right thing. Poor judgment as to what that is. Out of control, id. Jung would have a field day with this one. Financially irresponsible. Loves to act like a big shot. Likes to use people. Family minded. Thinks they are a wise type who sees the bigger picture. Possibly worst psychopath I have ever encountered. Frighteningly cold-hearted about other people when it comes to property, etc. Yoga? No. Murder? Yes. Definitely not a fitness freak, just a freak. Friendly, but terrifying. Finds punish, uh, finishing jobs challenging. Dr. Freud, Professor Jung, I beg you, help me. Woo! So you sat through all of it, did ya? You did good! Visit the Social Club website to view your psychiatric report. The report can be found in the GTA 5 mission section of the career menu, Bank of Liberty. Okay, what's my Bank of Liberty say here? Credit received. An online credit transaction was recently processed for your account. The transaction was received from the Bank Farshore Banking Group. Follow the link to view the statement. Okay. Ah, welcome back, Trevor Phillips. Lester Cress. 25 million dollars. Huh. Now I'm not an expert, but I'd say that makes us pretty rich. It's not over yet. There is a question mark right there at my house. A sign of things to come, because there is more to be done. Not much more, but we got a few more episodes, a few more things that we can accomplish. Thank you so much for watching. Catch me next time for more Stephen Plays Grand Theft Auto V. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... <gasps> so... You've done well for yourself. What? What are you doing here? Is that how you greet your mother, 